let me quickly show you how i actually stop blowing my small accounts let's say maybe we are about to take a trade based on a trend line breakout in this case let's say we want to take a buy trade what most people do is to click on the buy instantly after seeing that trend line being broken there's a buy we just took and yeah just like that is this how we're supposed to trade actually no this is an incorrect approach also our account is very small only have 30 dollars so we're most likely to blow this approach by taking a buy without doing further steps right maybe you're happy that you have those profits floating but you won't sleep the truth is you won't sleep we'll be watching the market because we haven't done things correctly so in this video let me quickly show you step by step just stay there don't move step by step how we're actually going to approach this let's start by downloading this calculator already have it downloaded i can just go ahead and open it right it's a simple derive um calculator right here so they have three calculators i believe inside the app the lot size calculator specifically for synthetic indices and they also have the pip um calculator I believe this is the p value calculator and the risk calculator we're gonna use the risk calculator for this example because our account is very small let's just go ahead and close this trade that we have floating right here and we're gonna start afresh and do everything correctly we're gonna use the same example step one obviously will be for us to do our analysis right that's the step one and we've already done like this trend line breakout analysis and we can go ahead and put a buy limit order right here and let's say maybe our stop loss you can see now i'm doing extra steps our stop loss is gonna be here this is the step that we skipped previously when we're doing our analysis tp will be let's say somewhere there so you can see now we've planned our analysis properly with all those parameters let me do it again i'm gonna click on this button right here to get this line you can see it says buy limit it says sell limit above this line so if we drag it below it says buy limit since we want to take a buy let's just put it below this line and it gives us a buy limit get our stop loss line by clicking there put our stop loss there and then the final parameter will be the tp which we're gonna put up here we are done with analysis what's the next step click here are we gonna take a trade no we're not gonna take a trade yet but we're gonna copy these values into the app that we just downloaded to figure out how much our losses are gonna be we have a stop loss and tp and our entry as well as the lot size we need these parameters because we have 30 dollars account we can't just randomly take trades so we're gonna use the 0 0.001 for the vix 75 this is the smallest loss lot size that we're gonna use right so we're not calculating a lot we're taking the smallest lot size because we have a small account so we're gonna start by copying these shandies right here which is our entry price then we move to the calculator that we just downloaded and we're gonna use this calculator which is the um, simple risk calculator right so what do we do in this calculator we can start by selecting our index which is the volatility 75 index in this case and then we can change the entry price right here to what we actually copied and then our balance for the account remember we're trading a 30 dollars account can go ahead and type a balance and we're taking one trade because our account is small and then we're gonna get our stop loss get our stop simply copy it i just hope the developers will make these two apps work to work together to avoid copying and pasting if you are watching please uh, do that let's copy the next parameter which is the tp right just gonna copy this and plug it in. it's just copying and pasting copa copa pasty pasty and then the lot size we're gonna use the smallest lot size for that index so you can see for this particular shandies we'll be risking around about 6.55 us dollars right our reward is that one the risk is that one that's the percentage and in dollars this is how much we'll be risking and our reward will be 20 eight dollars if and only if we hold until we hit the take profit but let me maybe uh, emphasize on the lot 
uh, Lord Sai Shandi. Maybe let's take this trade first and then I'll give you and I'll show you another example. Let's take this trade. It's a pending order. Now all we have to do is to wait. We've done extra steps as you've seen. We didn't just click on a buy instantly, but we've done extra steps uh, to prepare for this trade nicely. You can see we just didn't analyze and buy randomly. So this is how we should do it. All we have to do now is to wait for this particular trade to be triggered. And the lot size we used, you can see, we cannot decrease further. We used the smallest. You can increase here, increase, but check here. When I decrease, the smallest that we can go down to is 0 0.01. For this asset, for volatility, uh, 75 index. If we were to look maybe at the BOOM 1000, let me look at it. The BOOM 1000 index, right? This one. You can see there, the smallest is what? 0, 0.2. So they don't have the same uh, minimum lot size. So let's use basic support and resistance to do this example again. We're going to take a trade on this. Let's say maybe we uh, look for a buy around about this point, okay? Uh, maybe let me get the pen let me get my pen actually let me get my pen let's look for a buy around this particular level right here right simple analysis to put our stop loss there and our tp will be just there right you can see that we have extra steps we're just not looking for a buy and we're going to buy we have stop loss entry and tp right and the lot size which is the smallest because because what our account is small the smallest because our account is small so we have all these parameters set up always remember to use the smallest lot size first to calculate if you say that uh, your calculations are proper then you can increase so we are doing the same thing again putting a buy limit there stop loss we're gonna put it here why are we doing this step so that we can get those values nicely the correct values then we can click on this arrow here this one so that we can see those values and copy them smallest lot size again 0 0.20 the entry we're gonna copy it go to the calculator again and then we'll look for the boom 1000 actually it's here on top oh yes yeah and then our entry we paste it the entry comes from your analysis all these parameters come from your analysis right so you need to analyze and then get these parameters don't just have a tp only and not have a stop you need to know how much you're gonna risk right so let's continue paste this one right here and then we're gonna get this one as well in the meantime let me know where you are watching this video from let me know where you're watching this video from i'm gonna paste the tp here and then the lot size can see if i click on a buy it still gives us six dollars this time is 6.39 dollars for the boom 1000 in there which is still pretty much decent if we're to change here to two take two trades it's gonna we're gonna be risking 12 dollars but we have 30 dollars we can't afford to risk 12 dollars that's too much we're most likely to blow the account first if things were to go wrong so if we stick maybe to uh, one trade this is what we, we we're getting 6.39 usd that's our risk if we to hit a stop loss on this trade right so maybe let me just adjust the lot size so that you can see that if you increase the lot a bit your risk gonna change you can increase by clicking there you can see it's increasing increasing you can decrease it as well if you click on the buy you can see now you're risking more for this lot size you're risking eight dollars we only have thirty dollars so that will be too much and remember we've already placed another trade the way we're risking six six dollars so we can't afford to open another one where we're risking more in this case look at that 27 dollars that's a lot most likely to finish our capital at once that's a lot look at that 27 dollars for that lot size okay so the app helps us to know how much we'll be risking before we take a trade to give us a peace of mind so that we can sleep remember i said you won't sleep if you're not doing things properly we want to sleep guys we don't want to watch the market we don't want to watch the market so oh, let's go ahead and and and, and do that 0 0.2 right 0 0.2 okay then i can go ahead and click on buy to get that to calculate 6.39 so remember we already have the other one so if we were to add this let me just place it it means now our account is exposed to what risk 12 dollars almost 13 dollars right that's how much we're gonna risk because we have two trades you can see we have this one so we have 12 we're exposed to 
twelve dollars six six right there twelve for thirteen ish somewhere there and if you subtract that from that thirty for to hit a a stop loss right we can't go bigger than that because we're gonna lose twelve dollars or thirteen dollars out of that date so we can't place more trades we just have to wait now for this to be triggered they might be triggered they might not be triggered these are both pending orders okay the boom uh, 1000 index is now triggered we are already in profit of six dollars okay boom is now triggered but um what do we do now that we trigger do we close it maybe let me first uh give you this uh, particular uh, tip if you look at where now the price is right the price is um six dollars away this this was a pending order this six dollars away from our entry and we we're risking six dollars so we are having like the equal distance between what we're risking and where price is right now in profit so this is what i mean we have this distance and we have that distance so this gives us what a one is to one ratio so our stop is equals to where our profit is right now so we can start managing our trade okay we can start managing our trade if you're asking what to do now we can start managing our trade how do we do that we click on the stop loss line here where the stop is and we drag it up to the positive side can you see what i'm doing i'm dragging it up there to the positive what i'm doing here is to move my stop loss to break even then i can click on this arrow and modify so that the stop loss level can move okay so it have moved we've moved our stop just like that so why are we doing this managing our trade we're managing our profit okay so that even if now you can sleep if price decides to go back it's gonna find the stop loss in the positive okay now the volatility 75 index is triggered as well both trades are triggered but it took us what patience for us to wait for them to trigger if you look at this chart you can see it came down triggered it might go even further down and hit our stop but remember the other trade the six dollar uh, one that uh, the one that's in a uh, profit we have already what locked it waited for everything to trigger waited for everything to move in our favor or move the other way around in this case it moved in our favor but this is risk free we're no longer exposed to 12 dollars the 12 dollars that we're exposed to remember it's six six i don't know why i'm writing 12 12 remember this is six dollars but now this is risk free why am i saying risk free because we've already moved the stop loss to break even for the first trade the boom 1000 index the only risk that we exposed to is the volatility 75 index meaning out of this 30 dollars if we to hit the stop loss right now we're gonna be left with 24 dollars for the volatility 75 index because the other one we have managed it so can you see the steps that i'm taking throughout as i'm trading right it's not just all about clicking a buy clicking a sell you have to do your things properly so this one is still uh pretty much exposed price can still come down and hit our stop loss we'll just have to wait and see if we're gonna move further in profit or our stop is gonna be hit this is what six dollars if you still remember so this one is still exposed okay so maybe we'll just have to wait it's just a game of waiting yes you can see there this one have been modified again just to show you and it can come down back down to here and hit our stop because our stop now is down there it's on the positive but it's not a positive huge value We're just protecting ourselves protecting our account from being exposed to 12 dollars now you can see the other trade got closed i'm pretty much sure the stop was hit okay if you look at it oh this is the 75 it's about to hit the stop as well yo yo you can see it's five dollars and our stop is at six. Oh, this one is it okay so you can see there we lost 0, 0.31 but we didn't lose six because we had already moved our stop loss to break even we got stopped out but we didn't lose six dollars we managed that particular one okay so we do this process over and over again if you look at the chart 
you can say that oh damn price came down exactly to that point where the stop was hit the stop and went went back up do we regret are we gonna chase this trade no it's a game of making sure that you are not emotional don't be emotional manage your, your risk nicely prepare for a trade only lose how much 0, 0,3 whatever amount there was stop loss was it we fine we're not gonna go ahead and buy again we're not revenge trading we're not revenge trading it's very important to prepare your trades nicely step by step very very important so we're not gonna revenge trade all right does that make sense all right so these steps will also allow you to to detach a bit from looking at the charts and revenge trading and and all those things so let's look at the the one that is now still uh, running we are about to hit a stop loss what can we do do we move our stop loss no we don't because we've already prepared oh yeah stop was never hit look at that big candle right there price turned before it hit our stop and it's moving in profit right now they've moved nicely maybe we're looking at a ten dollars profit or almost looks like eight dollars maybe oh nine dollars nine point eight one dollars so we can go ahead and close this because we only have 30 dollars the goal is to build our small account let's go ahead and close this guy right so now we have 40 dollars account just like that right so we can do these steps over and over again and you can see how we're not emotionally attached because we've planned everything prior to taking trades we knew how much we we're gonna lo lose so we've made some profits we've made like ten dollars right from the street so we can repeat this process over and over again on this account okay over and over again on the same account i'm just gonna deposit more funds and show you how to do it this is just small growth let me know if this video is helping let me know where you're watching from you can just do that it's the same account that i've been using from from day one to show you guys these things right so if i actually maybe let's just look at that account it's the same derive account right there so let me maybe show you on this bonus video on how to do it the same account we're having i've uh, just deposited more money to show you the approach but now we're gonna use a different calculator because now we're having 1600 us dollars so let's maybe focus on the same asset the volatility 75 index how we would approach it using a much um healthier account not a tiny account because it's not everyone who have 30 dollars others they have two thousand ten thousand dollars just like that but which calculator are we gonna use in this case in this case we need to use the lot size calculator inside the same app you can see now we have more parameters to input this one we're going to figure out how much the lot size is so let's start by uh, getting our index that's the volatility 75 index let's get our parameters here okay i'm just gonna input these parameters here to show you the same approach with a much bigger bigger account right so we're not using a small risk calculator kind of vibe here yeah, we can tell the calculator how much we wanna risk because the account is much bigger and then it will suggest the lot size for us but if your account is small you, you go with the smallest lot size use the other calculator where you tell it the lot size here we're not telling it the lot size we want it to tell us how much the lot size will be and we'll tell it how much we wanna risk so we have an option here to choose between the risk percentage and the risk amount so if it, you input the, the percentage it will automatically give you the risk risk amount okay so that's that's it's that it's that okay must i explain that again if we calculate you can see it gives us 0, 0.006 if we want to risk that amount of 30 dollars plus okay so we can change this if you let's say you want to risk more but you don't know how much percentage that is we can come here and change that to get a lot size okay very very important very very important this is for uh, let me let me emphasize again this is for accounts that are big this is for small accounts you can see what we did here okay you can still do the same shandies i'm just doing a bit of uh, mathematics back and forth same parameters you can see we're risking about 30 dollars right here for that lot size so can you see 
but it's not the exact same $30 as on the other calculator. I believe what the developers have done here is to round down the, the values to the nearest, they're rounding down to the nearest lot size. Eh, mathematics and English don't mix. Because if you were to get the same amount that we're risking on the other calcula calculator now, the lot size will be much bigger, it will be 0, 0.07, but it will then still give us the same percentage. You can see now it's given, if we put 30, uh, 0, 0.07, it gives us $35. And that's more than the 2% that we wanted to risk on the other side. You see now it's 2.1%. So um, I don't know how I, I, I figured out how they, they did this, but I think it's adopting the fact that they're rounding down to the uh, smallest lot size to make sure that traders are not overexposing themselves to a more risk. Okay. So you see here it's 2.1 if we type 0, 0.07. If we type 0, 0.07, six it gives us 30 dollars which is not exactly what we wanted to risk so it's rounding down it's taking care of us nicely that's a bit of a nedish uh, approach to it if you would like to see more videos like this please uh, let me know in the comment section down below and tell me where you're coming from i don't know i'm fascinated on where you guys are from let me know where you're from otherwise Vindy, sharp sharp